wanna get hurt. Step up if you wanna get hurt. Step up if you wanna get hurt. Wanna get hurt. Wanna wanna get hurt. If you rap up, you get hurt. If you rap up, you get hurt. If you rap up, you get hurt. You you get hurt. You get hurt. If you rap up, you get hurt. Right? How you doing? My name is Adisa Banjoko. Uh, I'm purple belt at Heroes Martial Arts under Alan Marcus and I'm here with my friend Julius and we're gonna go into two different attacks from the iron hook. The first is the sarcophagus and the second is the thug nation and then there'll be a little bonus talk at the end. All right, so um, let's start, let's start. I'm gonna show an alternate entry, right? Because uh, a lot of people might know the sit up sweep one by now and people are kind of starting to get wise to certain things. So one of the ways that I like to get an overhook to start is to just sit up and get an S grip behind their back, right? I sit up into my opponent and keep my forehead about solar plexus level, pull down with the legs. And now look, whatever hand he bases with is gonna be my overhook. So I can go here or I can go here. But the idea is just to pull him down with the S grip here and then begin the series. You already know what it is. Bring your body out. Boom. Boom. People always wonder, well, what's the difference between the iron hook and not? Remember, you pull it across and wrap over, right? This is not the iron hook. How do we know? Because it's not the grip, it's the hip. It is the hip. Now it's the iron hook. Okay? Shutting down his right side. Okay? So, here's the situation. You're in a match. You got one minute left. You got the iron hook. You sit up. You get his wrist. You can do the tut, but you're not really sure. Maybe you're tired. You're gassed. He's gassed. What are you going to do? You're going to do the sarcophagus. Release. Lift your knee. Pendulum sweep. Now look. Solar plexus against the back of here. Just base on top of him, and you do the tut from the mount. Boom. That's the sarcophagus, all right? You got the sweep, you got the mount, and you finished, okay? That's the sarcophagus. Now I'm about to show you the dreaded thug nation. All right, so that was the sarcophagus. Now we're gonna do uh, a shoulder lock. I like to call it the thug nation. And uh, we can do it gi-less because a lot of people say well, it's going to work with or without the gi. For me, the bulk of this stuff works uh, without the gi. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. So, same situation. Julius's posture. I sit up. Come to me. I come here. Remember, what we talk about is uh, we talk about holding this here, right? Pledge of allegiance. He starts to post. You bring it over. Swim it. We're here, right? It's not the grip, it's the hip. We already had that conversation. I sit up. He grabs his own shoulder, right? Because he, he already knows. He's like, this dude's gonna tut me. He's not gonna get tutted. What I do is I pull him to about 11 o'clock as I start to scoot out and I lock this down. I keep this arm tight to me and I start to hip out, okay? Now, I reconstitute the guard. Once I do that, I trace down his arm here to the Kimura. Tap. Okay, now, why do I call it the Thug Nation? I call it the Thug Nation because Tupac will have to descend from heaven himself and bring an armada of thugs to free you from this lie. By the time you let go of the twisting arm control and you go to the Kimura, there's no time in between. It's a wrap. That's the Thug Nation, people. It's the Iron Hook. There's a lot more to it. Uh, I want to thank Julius. I want to thank my instructor, all my friends and heroes. All right? My homeboy, Chris Wynn. You know what I'm saying? It's West Coast all day. This is how we run it. Jupiter Jiu Jitsu. All right? Much respect. Have a blessed one. Try it out. Tell a friend. Let me know what you think. All right? All right, uh, as a quick bonus thing, a lot of you probably figured out when you do this move, uh, there's a submission instantly from it that you don't even need to get the twisting arm control or the, uh, or the tuck four. You sit up, pull me back, 
Pledge of Allegiance. He starts to base out on you. You swim it, right? It's not the grip. What is it? Bam, it's the hit, right? Maybe you don't even want that. You don't even want that. Right here, you can take his arm. It's hella deep. Zoom. Right? Look at this. You keep this locked. When you come here for the arm, I think this is the safest arm bar on earth. Why? Because he's going to tap. I got this. But the main reason is, in no gi, and especially if you do MMA or have any aspiration, when you try to armbar someone, they're going to pound your grill out, okay? Or they're going to snap you and start trying to stack you and slam you out. So what happens is, by keeping that first overhook, you have negated the defensive arm first, okay? And that's why it's right there, all right? That's the safest arm bar, I believe, from the bottom. Uh, uh, iron hook straight into the arm bar. A lot of you probably already figured it out. It's, it's really before I came up with the tut, this is what I used to use if I didn't just sweep them out right, okay? So there it is, sarcophagus, thug nation, and the uh, arm bar. You know, Kid Pellegro actually has another Kimura that he does. I tried to figure it out, but I'm not, I'm not smart. He explained it to me, Kid, forgive your boy. I, I can't figure it out, dude, all right? So tell Kid Pellegro to get on here and Show us how to do that because I need to know how to do it. All right? Much respect. Stay strong on the mat. Peace.